Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you a review of one of Arctic's CPU coolers. This is the Freezer Extreme Revision 2. So yeah, this is a CPU cooler, uh, four heat pipes, pretty damn big, and you know, the fan actually is in the middle of the cooler, so pretty uh, pretty different to all the other coolers I've, I've kind of checked out. But um, yeah, we're going to see how this one performs. Um, yeah, quite excited actually. I have checked out one of Arctic's CPU coolers in the past, and I will say the mounting mechanism is one of the best I've seen. And you know, the performance of that cooler was was pretty good for the uh, you know the price that it came in at. And now, yeah, give me checking out this cooler. Um, and yeah, gonna see if the mounting mechanism is easy to install. Is easy to install. And also gonna see what uh, you know kind of temperatures I get with this cooler on my i7 4770K. And you know, gonna at the end, uh, yeah, see if I recommend this to you guys or not. Well, do guys, I do recommend a lot of products, but typically, you know, a lot of the products I do get in for review, ah, you know. All of them, you know, have been pretty good, and you know, I haven't really had to say that I don't recommend a product because, you know, most of the products I do get in are good, so <laughs> that, that's kind of about it. And now, yeah, Freezer Extreme, gonna be checking this out. You know, we're gonna get get on with kind of an unboxing, quick unboxing, just say what we get in this uh, box, and uh, yeah, gonna show you how to mount it, and also yeah, gonna tell you some of the uh, you know kind of uh, temperatures we get with this cooler, overclocked and non-overclocked, uh, because that's what you guys want to see apparently. So uh, yes, that's what I'm gonna be delivering. Anyhow, let's get on with it. To get started, first off, let's see what's included. Now, the Freezer Extreme is packaged quite compactly in see-through plastic. Now, inside, we found the cooler itself, mounting hardware for both AMD and Intel in separate bags, as well as, uh, yeah, we do found a manual and a black plastic mounting plate underneath the cooler for installation onto your motherboard. Now, onto the cooler itself, the cooler is based around the twin tower design with two towers and a 120mm fan in the middle. Now, both of these towers have 102 aluminium fins with uh, yeah, thicknesses of 0.3mm each and have four 6mm copper heat pipes passing up to the top of the cooler for the main dissipation of heat. Now, also, the fan included is a thick 120mm impeller fan sporting a fluid dynamic bearing. Now this fan does support speeds between 800 to 1500 RPM, so I will say it's pretty damn quiet. Now the fan's connector is 4-pin and does support PWM, PWM, so the speed will automatically be controlled via your computer's BIOS, depending on the CPU temperature. Now as for the overall dimensions, the cooler is 123mm in length, 100mm in width and 140mm in height. Now the cooler is quite tall, but not that wide when comparing to many other coolers I've used in the past. Oh and also yes, the weight is 06 kilograms. Now onto the installation, the cooler uses the classic pushpin, uh, yeah, the pushpin design on the Intel platform and I will say it was very very easy to install and I got it up in 2 or 3 minutes, really did surprise me. Now I am very pleased that you know Arctic have gone this way in terms of the installation and made it incredibly easy to install and I do praise Arctic for going this route, I really really do. Anyway, let's get on to some kind of benchmark numbers and uh, yeah, let me show you, uh, yeah, let me go show you what this cooler performs like up on top of my i7-4770K. Now I will say this is uh, on an open test bench so you know your temperatures might vary but I can say it did do uh, you know very well and I am surprised that for a cooler of this size it can perform pretty well and stay very quiet at the same time. And anyway, I did run Prime 95 for 10 minutes at both stock speeds of 3.5 GHz and overclocked at 4 GHz at around 1.08 volts. Now the graphs on the screen now, uh, so at 3.5 GHz on the automatic voltage, 71 degrees and then at 4 GHz at around 1.08 volts, 80 degrees. Now this is the worst case scenario running Prime Nader 5 and I will say during gaming this cooler is ridiculously quiet and it you know it does give some pretty nice temperatures just in say the 50 degree mark. So very very nice and you know I am very impressed you know you know very kind of impressed and pleased with the cooler. Anyhow let's kind of get on to a conclusion. So there we are guys, tried and tested, this is a pretty nice cooler and yeah, as I kind of, you know, did kind of mention at the beginning of the video, um, yeah, this cooler is easy to install and it does deliver some really good temperatures based on its size and it's, you know, kind of price, the price is, uh, you know, something that you've really got to consider when making a review of a product and, you know, at the end, you know, kind of recommend it or not. So I would recommend this product, nice and easy to install and you do get some really nice temperatures from this as well as it being really quiet, uh, you know, that does kind of, you know, kind of sell this product. Um, yeah, very nice to install, you know, uh, not too big, you know, for, for, for even smaller cases, so uh, yeah, it's pretty damn nice. You guys have seen the temperature graphs already, it's a uh, you know, nice cooler and, you know, it does stay quiet, so uh, it is good, pretty damn good, um, yeah. The design of this is quite unique, you know, you've got kind of the branding all over the cooler, um, so, you know, if you guys do have, you know, kind of like a, a windowed kind of side panel, you know, you, know, you probably will see some of the branding, and in, in particular, 
what it says there, Freezer Extreme. You know, you will see that. And um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be about, you know, about it. This is a good cooler. Would recommend it. And, uh, yeah, as always, guys, if you guys do want to pick this up, links are in the description as well as an information page for the product on our Actics website. So there we are. Would recommend this product. And uh, that's going to be about it. I'm going to sign out. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, isn't it? And now, feel free to like, guys, comment, and also subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.